To me, the, the most important fact is that we're getting control of the spread of the virus. So I think we're still due to get a, a strong rebound on jobs. This number's okay. We want it to be higher. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird that we're viewing 550,000 numbers as m modestly better. Um, no, that's because of the depth I of how think quickly the jobs seeing dropped the states, off. See, seeing this, there are a series of states that are cutting off the, the unemployment payments. So if your view is that as that runs off, that makes a big difference. You should probably start seeing the, the comeback to, to the workforce. And the fact that there are so many job vacancies, I think, is great. I think you're going to see wages go up strongly. I think the job market is, is going to continue to improve. Diana, there was a conversation we had with the Manpower Group CEO earlier. They'd done a survey that shows that um, from a global perspective, it's the hardest it's been in, in 15 years to try and get employees, especially in high-skilled jobs. Uh, the small businesses are also facing that. I think almost half of small business owners in the month of May uh, said that they were having real problems trying to get people in for jobs. It's the highest level they'd ever seen. Um, what happens here? Why, why are these things happening? Why is it so difficult to get people in on jobs? And is Austin right that the, the employers are going to have to start paying a lot more money to get people to work? Well, with the level of unemployment benefits, it's certainly worthwhile for some people to be staying home. But one question is, were last month's numbers revised up or revised down? Last month, we had a job creation number of 266,000. Was that revised up or down? Up a little bit. Up, up a little bit. Okay. But one. Right. Because yeah. two months revision, two hundred twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand is a two-month revision to the upside. Up. Twenty-seven thousand. Yeah. Because we Not should much. realize this is the first flash of data. It's going to be revised two more times. Uh, so it's interesting that last month's was revised up. So uh, we don't know what this is going to end up as. But uh, definitely, I would say that. There are some individuals for whom the unemployment benefits are persuasive in having them stay home, yes. And then others still want to get out into the job market. Kate, what does this mean for the markets? Yeah, I think we're kind of in a sweet spot here. I was saying that, you know, kind of between 500,000 and a million is a continuation of current, uh, this current situation. The expectation that Fed will start talking about tapering. Um, focus more on the wage side and focus on the challenges that companies have across all different industries, not just service industries or more commoditized labor and getting people back into seats. So one of the numbers I was really focused on a moment ago, Becky, was the wage gains. Um, I think this is going to be really important for the consumer story. And it's going to be really important as we think about corporate margins in the back half of 2021 and in through 2022. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. What does this mean for margins? Because when wage uh, gains go in, it, they tend to be pretty sticky. It's, it's hard to say that we're going to temporarily give you these gains and they're going away in three months. Um, right now, corporations have, have had pretty wide margins. Do you think that continues? Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, we're losing some of the levers that companies have used to maintain high margins over the last, not just a couple of years, but over the last decade. And I think the wage story is going to be very important. I do expect, though, if wages grow too rapidly, and as you point out, Becky, they're very sticky, we'll see more companies investing in technology and software and platform to offset the total cost of an employee. So I think this is going to be a really interesting uh, discussion over the next couple quarters. I'm watching it very closely. But as of right now, I don't think the wage gains are so much that they're going to sort of de destroy the profitability uh, <clears throat> for most companies. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.